I will um, probably focus on the main quest a little bit, unless we get a side quest which is nearby. I don't even know, like, um, how to go leave. I think. Oh, is that one completed? Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is a side quest actually. Oh, what is happening? Remember Are you Galeev, the healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself, but you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tenth city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. Well. Uh. Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the citadel. Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left, that's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. Well... <sighs> You're kind of an ass, healer. There's no cure for a conscience, but in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My Thunder charity... Child? for a Thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. It is how hey, yeah, not really, but... You'd settle my debts... for a while. Those parts aren't exactly easy to come by. As it happens, a Thunderjaw prowls the Valley of Omens, north and is west of Is that a Fury. big bird, or...? I know it well, because they expect me to put its victims back together. Runaways, mostly. If I do this, it's not for you. Oh, I'm not expecting you to do it at all. But I'll be heading back to the Citadel later. Mm hmm I think it's like a gigantic bird, but... I'm not... I don't exactly remember. The metal flower, alright. Sweetie, sweet pies, sweet anis, friends. Some people even call me sweetie. <laughs> I mean, those are all cute names. Wish I could have sent badges to more people. Yes, yeah, same. Wait, why is? Why did it go? Hello. Oh, there you are. Actually, is this gonna work on you? Not really. Okay. <laughs> oh, it does work. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <gasps> yes. Yes, I'm not even giving you the chance to do. Oh my god, do anything. And now. Go, 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 go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Where are you? Yes, let's go. Ah! Oh, no ammo. Okay, that's fine. I wish you could make badges, that would be so cool, yeah. <laughs> Where is the other one? Oh boy, too close, too close, too close. Fuck. 
no, no, oh no, oh no, oh no. How do I roll again? This, okay. I just remember, was it Elo and Yashin that one? Yes, yes, she was. Oh, oh my god! What the? He is very aggressive today. No. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. No, fuck. Hey, good dinosaur, please. I don't want any issue. Okay, I didn't know that it can... Oh, boy. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Sheesh! Okay, good dinosaur. She was, and I never played. <laughs> I never played Genshin. I want to give it a try, but it. If it's not on Switch, I can't or don't have motivation to play. Actually, I actually don't know if it's on t uh, on oh. Switch. Oh, that echo. But, um... Yeah, there was a... Um... <coughs> I'm sorry about my cough, guys. There was a promotion. Um... Ooh, big tail. These big machines are kind of fascinating and scary at the same time. I'm only getting blood tests next week. It will be my third week of coughing and fourth month of being sick. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Being sick, even just for a short period of time, sucks. But I can't even imagine being sick for that long. Nightfall. Jill's coming. I, I hope you're gonna get part. better soon. A deal's a deal. See to the girl, and it's yours. On my oath. But tell me, if this girl survives, what do you suppose is her future? It's better than not having a future at all. What a charming notion. Come, come, let's be quick about this. Kindness doesn't keep well in the heat. Hmm. I kind of understand why this guy is so pragmatic, but I kind of don't like it at the same time. Oh yeah, apparently my sister is sick with the same thing, so... It's you. Hello again. I've brought some of your you sister. <laughs> Thank How you. you? It's on and off, but it's still impacting what my day-to-day. What did we do to deserve? I have never no. been this sick ever. Wait. Like I don't even want to ask. Can't even imagine doing university while I'm this Smart sick boy. for months. Honestly. Full attention. So props to Won't you. She? But I believe Once I'm free in you. Of you can other do distractions. It. Yes. I also want to get a blood test. But um, obviously, I can't find I'm sick. <laughs> I want to get a blood test for allergies. But it was just never a good time. Oh, level 30. Let's flipping go. You'll like what I have to say, I promise. I should also go and do the yearly checkups, which I haven't done in like two years. To go for a g g gynecologist or whatever it's called in English. Oh my god, that's a big, big uh, bull thing down there. I guess my friend and investor, I'm on track to get Let's go! It's not like this in Meridian. At least. Sometimes I do regret getting an art degree because I feel like I haven't learned anything during university and I wish that I would have done like programming school or something instead. But um it is what it is. Now we get to see Oh god, I need to book a gynecologist at some point. I've never been. Yeah Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. 
I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, okay. circulate. I've been to and I definitely recommend everyone to go, you know, for the yearly. Oh my god, I don't like my English is not that good actually and I don't know a lot of these medical stuff but it's you know to check up and make sure to prevent cancer and stuff and I was very bad at it last year I didn't go last year so I wanted to go since January but either I was always sick or having some problems so I was like all you're not going to make any shards by standing out here. No, but any degrees, right? But maybe not economically, but everything is able to run. Yeah, but my university wasn't the best, to be honest. Granted, I could only start doing this. Yeah. Ah, uh, I see, I see. I mean, my degree is good that I have a degree for job interviews. They do ask about why do I have another degree? But <laughs> like, does it matter? I have a degree and. Just, let's just move on. I hear delaying the inevitable. It is good because it teaches some core skills currently. Mm. Well, have to work under pressure when you have like a two week deadline of the sun to do a work of a year in two weeks. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true I guess it was king. good. <laughs> the there we go. Shadow, whose will is light <laughs> and whose life is law. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a child! It's a man. By the will of Radiant Edaman, does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500. Oh boy, shards. something is up with this. Don't you think? Huh? She looks so pretty. Who oh, is she? You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. She looks so pretty. She reminds me of Yoruichi from Bleach. We both know you don't kill for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. I said the computer science and that job market is also so screwed. Ew. You've got to be kidding. It's not just not me, all. pretty. <laughs> you not worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. So, but the Kestrels... It happened so fast. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. It makes this quite an impression. Hardly. Huh? The balustrade. It's a short huh? drop from there. I think it's the face red, maybe, yeah, how to... Oh, wait, what? Oh, this way, alright. There's a cow, am I supposed to... I don't... Oh, I don't like this, but here we go. Okay, that was pretty cool. Why am I going down again? The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. Okay. Tell I'll me. I'll show you the way in. But this humble Don't vent like marks the point of no return. Good luck before you descend to the depths here. Of course, thank you for the lurk, sweetie. And have a good dinner, I think. Dinner time, yeah. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. Thank you for the I won't tolerate And waiters, if you gotta rest and get up, um, take care of yourself. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Go and eat, drink, hydrate. It's important. Also, leave you were streaming for a very long time. So make sure you. Also get something to eat and I'm drink. heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines Ooh, the came from. Oh, the textures are really messed up here. Such marvels only to fall into silence and death. 
A lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets I do have something I guess I don't want to get yet. <laughs> yes, eating is important. Years ago. Enjoy and thank you for the raid again. Oh, I, I really appreciate it. I hope I can catch your stream again too. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Nice. I wonder what we're gonna discover this time. Oh my function again! Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? Oh? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Uh oh. I don't like the sound of them. Draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? <laughs> There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Let's go. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. It's so cool that the... Oh my god, what is it called? Like the AI is still working here. <clears throat> I'm expecting some fight because the game started to give me mushrooms here again. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. Oh. I will try to read some of them which are looking a bit more interesting, but I just want to look around first. Looks good. Nothing more. Anything here? No? Proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of what? What was this place? A holographic theater. CD and one data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. The Zero Dawn is a top-secret super weapons program. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague. If Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is... that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Oh. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. 
global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. That's not a lot of time. A survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Okay, this is a pretty tragic outcome. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Two? A mm, lot of things too. Oh, and this is our audio log, of course. Being with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't. Uh... Just Found stating him. your name. Over here! What were you. <laughs> Nothing the general said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the I still need to move. Ah, so dark! scale biomass reduction the biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse render the earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us enduring victory can't buy time against that so you'd better show me what zero dawn really is okay you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo? Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. <laughs> Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Well... Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. 
What is left? Oh, I wanted to hear more. That was actually interesting. Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. Aerospace the engineering. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? Oh, he thinks that they... I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. But you people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. He's... Oh, oh, poor, poor dude. He's not wrong, though. Oh, did I miss there something? I would be panicking in this situation too. Mm, what are these? Who previously worked for Faro Automated Systems? On the chariot line self replication routines? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. <laughs> When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since, since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just, I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all, my work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but tech could really sell a concept and, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light yeah. of creation, that first test run, when when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. I understand God, that perspective, no but yeah, it's a harsh reality that he has to face. Want to discuss? Oof. So mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and lake of fire that on kind of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Mm. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty, too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey, I don't suppose you got real uh, coffee in this place. This guy? You know, blood coffee, conflict cappuccinos. Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. Damn. Monaco and Cellular Biology. No, I wanted to listen. It is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people. They feed off them. Not just people, all organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. 
Is he here? No, Doctor. Please, tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! Ay, ay, ay. Mm. Here. <laughs> he got really is so CD two data in ten. Initiating playback. Oh, another video? Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from life. That's effects. actually cool. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Gaia, hmm. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Apollo, AIs, but make no Satan. Each presents oh my god, this is really cool. More profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just hey, the Hephaestus? We Probably missed one. The entire system. Minerva, Hephaestus, Aether, Poseidon, Demeter, Artemis. What? Hades? There's Hades. Now over the days Demeter, come, Artemis. You'll learn how all these functions, all these Ele pieces that you'll be working on. Hello, Kia? Apollo I will race the clock to execute mm. our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. Hey, these my boy, what happened with you? And seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. Oh. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas. To the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks. To rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia. We can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. This is a very ambitious project. Not gonna lie. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth. Did this for, life, for us? But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. 
Hmm. Maybe the answers lie ahead. I'm pretty sure we're gonna find out. I'm very curious because I don't remember. I, like, I didn't even remember this part. Of course you'll do it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I. Uh, the, the, the damage that I. Well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margot, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. They, they just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That, that's the, the better than rapid innovation. Uh, better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. <laughs> It's just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard, to earn this for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be uh, atonement. My guy, I wouldn't be so excited. still nauseous. No, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this, but the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no. No, life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Like Syzygy East, like the Congo. Like Timo. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family. I'm afraid uh. all inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. Habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Albert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. That's and yet, true. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just Oof. want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... Oh boy, she chose death instead of being part in this project. Oh, that's a heavy decision to make. See to make sure I behave this time? Security, for your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No, flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought, I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a space flight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist, a, a dangerous fantasist. He's kind of blue skying. It's. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. What are you... You know... I guess we have another dead guy. Just for different reasons. I kind of get in. To make this decisions and kill the people who does not want to help it's kind of wide but i get why they need to keep this as a secret intruder get her what I don't you do? don't die. Uh. Oh my god, okay, um... Oh, 
Oh, I didn't want to do that, but sure. HP potion. Not this one though. Yeah, give me that weapon at last. down please hello oh, mushroom I'd have to ditch something no no it's fine I didn't miss anything in there, I believe. Can I not go in here? No? Oh. Ooh, mushroom. Keep the mushroom. This will come in handy. Travis State. <laughs> now, those lame FBI and black hats at Mockingbird back in the day. I enjoyed schooling them, but maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero Dawn and no ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'll be called an abomination back home and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Um. <laughs> Priorities, I guess. Watching porn is more important than extinction. Zero Dawn. It is art in a way, an expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souve? Christina Souve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. Oh, but he wants to one that. of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in the auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art, art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. I agree with her. Oh, okay. 
Art is important. Oh, more mushrooms. Are there gonna be more guys here? Here we go. Another little base. Need to find the right configuration. Hmm. So left up left. Left, up, left, and down and right. Nice, that was easy. There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage hey, area nearby. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Oh. So it's backwards. Oh, my brain cannot handle these. Um. Wait, but oh, a part is missing. Okay, mm, probably it's gonna be in here. Hello, missing part. <clears throat> Very dark. In here. Found one. Looks intact. Nice. Okay. Drop down. Should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. So that's down. That's left. That's up. And then the right. And then down. That did it. Oh, nice. Now to see what lies beyond it. Oh. oh, someone else is here. Should have grabbed the weapon. Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. I'm trying to be stealthy. <laughs> Not here.
Although I don't see where he's moving now. Fuck. Thought I could have like a stat killing or something, but no. I will. Oh, I'm stuck in a mushroom. Oh, there are more coming. Oh no. I don't see them at all. Fuck. Why am I missing? Oh, let's go. I don't even see him, but I did hit him. One more guy. I don't see him, so let me quickly loot around. They're still looking. Sure. Search and destroy. What does that mean? Oh boy. I wanna loot around. You know. Does he wanna see if I missed any conversation? Need the loot. Portion, thank you. This is a big room, I'm sure there are stuff in here. Can listen to this one day. Oh. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. And this is Hephaestus. Oh. As the name might tip you off, this That's is going to be me. a subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So... Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded That's pretty cool. Software. Virtual creativity made real. Guy's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. 
Her designs aren't about to win the Liam prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed? Hmm, I guess you're gonna find out. It's very interesting if they were to sign. In cauldrons. But of course. The perfect places of Gaia's machines. Is there something in here? I don't want to miss anything. Especially these hollows because I think we can learn the most of them. So I want to make sure that I get everything. These will keep. Nothing here, okay. <clears throat> oh, am I gonna be able to go in there? I hope so. Oh, okay. there's got to be a way in sub. More eclipse. Careful now. Hey, okay, let's see how far I can do this Nikaru business. Probably not for too long, to be honest, because we know how good I am at sneaking around. Not good at all, yes. <laughs> I'm not here. Is there anyone here? Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species oh. and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina. Yeah, thank you for exposing me. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 Ooh. million discrete data entries. That's a lot. 32 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish and Arabic. Third, 
the transfer and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. Honestly, these are all uh, sound pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> Kinda wanna read this if I'm gonna be able to without coughing all too much. Um From Samina Abachi to Elizabeth Sobek encapsulated DNA. And the winner is encapsulated DNA. Over the past 10 years, I performed an exhaustive review of data storage solutions, magnetic, optical, quantum, even the eternity tech that past was chilling a year or so ago. But every other solution has one or more fatal shortcomings. Too heavy to transport, too massive to install in the allotted space, too power intensive over the centuries, too prone to failure past 300-400 years, etc. And Encapsulated DNA will easily hold the 40 plus zettabytes we are projecting for Apollo. There are still many details to finalize, of course. To start with, we need to select the inert material in which we will embed the molecules already testing 16 candidate materials, as well as design and fabricate the power systems and sealed reliquaries that will keep the DNA at minus 18 degrees Celsius for a thousand plus years. <coughs> So long as I assure you that it didn't factor into my decision, hmm, no, hold on. I confess that I deem it entirely fitting, indeed propitious, that we will be using the very building blocks of life to preserve human knowledge from mecha mechanized extinction. It's not just ironic but heroic. Life as the hero beating back the forces of oblivion. In any case, much to do. Until next time. Peace be with you, Samina. It's a pretty cool idea, for sure. Follow up day. Over the past two months, the full benefit of our procurement of a copy of the Homer archive from Farzanid has made itself known, and as a result, all of Apollo's key deliverables are on schedule. Apollo has already surpassed 40 million discrete data entries and continues to grow. The physical science modules are effectively complete, with soft science modules close behind. Bird history, cultural data, and media archives are also on schedule. Language preservation is wrapping up a bit ahead of schedule due to falling short of our goal to preserve 4,500 languages. I suppose the tragic early loss of Papua and New Guinea doomed that goal from the outset, with attendant curricular development about to begin. Speaking of the heuristic curricula, they are performing well in testing, with children and adolescents demonstrating high levels of engagement, meet and trust in the Aristotle and Aspasia personae. Personally, I find them highly engaging, especially when they debate. I wish half my professors had been so entertaining. <laughs> oh, imagine an AIB be more entertaining than a professor in a university or something. Nice. Look at my stat kills. All of this lost. The ancient's greatest gift to us. <sighs> greatest? How about the fact we exist at all? To abide in ignorance is a curse, Aloy. You of all <laughs> people should know that.
No, I'm too afraid to shoot that guy. Hold on. Skills. Yeah, I kind of need this now. Mm. Kind of want to try this. On the guys. What was that? Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God, this is bad. This is really bad! Why are you not shooting? Oh no. Seventh file. In what should have been a cave of wonders. Could have been worse, I guess. <laughs> the tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory, a falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks. By throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world, listening to this message, please know that I am sorry. And that I wish you well. Sincerely. Aaron well, Paris. Got you, guy. Hmm, how do I... Oh! I don't think that was... Is there anything here? No? Mm. 
Mm, how did I go there? <gasps> There's another. Wait. Nope, this way. Oh. Nope. What was that? What we Welcome find in here. Oh. to Hades. Zero Dawn's oh. extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you right. think. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just bum crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your Gaia 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, a spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now, what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocating. But... You get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then... Well, the programming worked out well. Does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, Try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> so uh, I don't know Hades. about that. Welcome to the void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a Pharaoh Titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. Okay. Something went wrong for sure. Looks oh. like the only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Okay. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but 
not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors. To provide nurture and inculcation during early child development, all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. Hmm. My only question is. How are babies going to survive without adults? I'm very curious about them. Are they going to be like going in pods like this? What is this? I want to read this. Development of the artificial personnel for creator servitors. Nurturer, disciplinarian, healer continues at a good pace. We are targeting ring 0 0.4 for these <laughs> constructions. This should allow low grade empathy and limited improvisation without undermining adherence to modified behavior sets. The stimulus driven switching of personnel, however, is Proving to be a greater software challenge than anticipated, especially concerning our entrenched feedback loops between the disciplinarian and healer personnel. I have also attached the reports from an incident where a servitor running the mother personnel intervened on a disciplinarian servitor's behavior. Parental argument, if you will, amusing on first glance perhaps, but deeply concerning. I have attached a comprehensive plan for correcting these interactive protocols shortcomings. Oh. I would assume that these are like some robots that they're creating. Yes, yes, I will hydrate. Thank you, Raven. Him. I don't even understand half of the things that I read. And I will also stretch. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that was a painful stretch. How? Also, I, I remember. How about you, Raven? I'm finally back from work and can enjoy your stream having lunch. Enjoy your lunch! What are you eating? I hope work was okay. Um, I'm fine. Of Free course, of facilities. course. Elizabeth said a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. Hmm. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry, dinner, not lunch. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I said lunch or dinner actually. Having this weird lasagna, weird lasagna thing, okay. I'm sure it's better than what I'm planning to have, so. Hello, Ayla, please. But yeah, this is a very interesting part actually because we. We are slowly finding out more about what is Project Zero Dawn and I forgot about all of these things and it's just so cool to hear them again because I think um, it makes the story really unique. Are there gonna be any enemies here? Hmm. 
Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? Oh? Gaia? Yeah, yeah. What the I'm heck? Gone. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Whoa. She reminds me of Edie a little bit from Mass Effect. This is so cool. She can actually, like, speak and such. It's really cool. to hold something that would benefit from antilope and morphologies though capric forms show superior load-bearing capability you're a quick study Gaia Dr. Sobek as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies I've gathered extensive data on the quaternary extinction event oh and your assessment Gaia <clears throat> Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... a grief... that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Damn. Thank you. They use albergines instead of lasagna sheets, but cheese makes it better. <laughs> I don't even know what the albergine? Uh, uh, albergines? He will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you alright? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Gaia, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. Oof. There are billions That's bad. In fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. I think in America it's called egg. Oh, eggplant! Okay, I know eggplant. Oh, wait. They used eggplant instead of lasagna sheets? That's interesting. Okay. And I did not accept this game to have- yeah, I don't know why, but it's cool. Yeah, I didn't expect it either. I, I completely forgot about all of these cool details, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wait, I'm going there. Wait, where? How? Why? How do I go in there, then? I don't see a door or something. Oh, never mind. Yep, very questionable. I don't really like eggplants in general. The only good quality is that they have that they are purple, and that's pretty much it for me. Um. Oh so yeah, I don't know. Oh, the CS fail? What? Oh, some terrible news, I'm afraid. 
Parzanis has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Last night, telemetry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo of zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo, all were lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of the human species and earthly life. We must succeed. Damn. Oh, there's another thing at the end of the room, which I wanna... Artemis status, it's coming along, Liz. I'm positive about it. If those words can still mean anything. Had my sleeves rolled up, negotiating with frozen... <laughs> Frozen zoos for their samples. So many species trapped in ghoulish hologram dioramas, suspended in what ifs. More than 14,000 that went extinct between 2000 and 2043. We've started mapping out primary succession, selecting the pioneer organisms for a balanced and sustainable biosphere. Nyakuran organisms and insects, rabbits and hogs, foxes and wolves, thousands more that we have to wait their turn until our new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them. So they can return to a world that this time will understand the concept of conservation before it's too late. There's already been too many too late. We lost the whole collection team during the swarm breakthrough in Myanmar. The samples we lost were, well, irreplaceable. But thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will bend, not break. The earth was a lifeless rock before, and someday it will be again. But not now, not like this, not on our watch. Oh, so. oh boy. Let's see. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this. I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, shut Although up. I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Oh no, not like this. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Did we manage to copy? Oh yeah, yeah, that looks like a powerful guy. Oh, not like this. Not like this. Well. Still alive. Good. Oh, it's Helis. Oh, I this. Have a more suitable death in mind for you. Oh wait, I think I remember what's coming. Oh no, 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 no. Well... <clears throat> Wasn't he just as close to the explosion? Yeah, kind of weird. But I don't like life, where this is going. I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory where as a great champion of the sun. Even when Jaron was murdered. Even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. Hmm. How nice of you. A simple tug of the blade, 
then you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? Trying to burn me to death. Like this all night? Could you just kill me now? Oh no, we're in no hurry, you and I. Not now. Maybe some physical torture to distract me from your voice? At that moment, on the mountain, I aimed to kill you with dispatch, and yet did not. Why? This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when His I voice is so creepy. You down in that place that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. Boy. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. <laughs> you are a fool. A dangerous idiot, but an idiot. All this tell them, Aloys. Destiny and fate. I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? You're being played for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All uh -huh. halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Well, thank Whatever's you. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you can cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle <laughs> is closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. You just a coward, afraid to find. The beast now caged will serve her true purpose: a sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot oh. to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. Oh no. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but it would be pretty alas, stupid to fall for it that time to be to fair. Unnecessary. Uh, yeah. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. <laughs> You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, this guy. I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Yeah, he is kind of see the scorching judgment of the having sun problems in, in the brain. Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. No! Mother Fluffer! <sighs> Dang it, how am I gonna get another one? So you see, this time, I did not hesitate. Howard. 
the knife talking has already been twisted. outside of the cage but I I don't like what's coming guys What is the Karja <laughs> faithful? Rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false oh, sun more space will for be my dead. legs. And uh, Meridian hours once more in this. <laughs> become an instrument of prophecy All the question now is which of the two cats are you going to be <laughs> shadow to sun light to dark well night to day behold uh Hold your probably seats. the one who dies Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes No, don't hurt to consecrate that creature. The radiant Turan ordered many faithless, crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eyes of the sun, but it is mightier still in beauty. Let this one who schemed and slithered be the first to die. Let her be the first. How am I gonna defeat these guys without my weapons? Oh boy. Okay, alright. Here comes the thing. Okay, um... Come here! Okay. Follow could kill it, yeah. Hello, I'm here. Hello. <gasps> oh my god. Give my stuff. Give my stuff. Oh, that was a quick dressing up. They place your stuff right. <laughs> yes. And we're giving them a tr throw. Ah! 
Okay. Oh. Opa. Aya. Yeah, okay, that was a mistake. Kinda of messed up one up. I don't know but has to shoot he doesn't wanna die I'm sorry I don't like to kill you guys oh boy it was a tough fight He's like, what the hell? <clears throat> Silence. And yet you did. Yes, I had no choice. Shadows. Kill her. You need that and kill. No, no, I guess I can't drink. Oh boy, two of those things? Kill her. I'm not... I... What is going on? Oh, Silas, Silas, whatever its name. His name, sorry, not it. me it's probably because <coughs> of the knowledge and stuff oh oh he bought some friends let's go this is pretty cool Yeah. Where's the trader here? The m yeah. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Why am I not surprised? Data to new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. 
Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun ring at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corruptor to obtain the necessary parts, of course. Oh. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Why, well, you're welcome, I guess. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, <laughs> I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sun Ring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an I eclipse guess gonna fight to attack the again land. when we get back. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Oh, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not going to tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor oh. to conceal your identity. Armor? You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Okay, he redeemed himself. Yeah. A man gotta know when to apologize. Level 31, let's go. But yeah, if I'm not gonna be able to finish before Forbidden West release on PC, it is what it is. <coughs> oh, quest. Hello, who are you? Find help. Easy now. Oh. What's your name? What happened? Hackard. Find help for Pitchcliff. The Glindhawks keep attacking. They'll kill my brother. Everyone. Not if I have anything to say about it. 